Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite plugins that I've bought over the last 10 years. These plugins encourage creativity and have the power to make the most boring stock instrument sound incredible. Remember, nearly all plugins and VSTs go on sale at different times throughout the year, so do keep an eye out for that and save yourself some of your hard earned cash. Let's start off with a generic synth sound. And we can make it way more rhythmic by using a Sound Toys plugin, Filter Freak 2. I typically jump to a preset from Rhythmic, Distorted 16th A. So we have a dynamic filter that's adding rhythm to the synth. We can edit the filter's frequencies, gain, <laughs> and resonance. And of course, with all of these, we can mix it in how we want. Let's go for a triplet eight rhythm. Let's jump to our sine synth. Jump back to Sound Toys and let's add a rhythm to this synth using Tremolator. Straight away with the default sound, it sounds amazing. Let's change this rhythm to 16ths. Edit the depth. We can edit the groove. The fill parameter as well can really help make it sound a little bit more human. Get it rushing a little bit. Let's jump back to the electric guitar again. I'm going to mute the filter freak so I can show you Phase Mistress. Let's try the default sound. You can see the modulation moving here and you can clearly hear that dynamic phase shifter. A super simple and quick way to add movement to your sounds without any need for automation. Let's change the LFO to rhythm so we can match the BPM. <laughs> change the groove up. Let's change the rhythm to a dotted eight note. I'm sure you can tell I have a lot of fun messing around with this plugin, but wait till you hear Soundtoy's primal tap. This one's even crazier. Let's go for a preset time stretch. And I love the freeze function as well. So much information around the head. How about robotic? Edit the depth. Change the rate. Wow. <laughs> Let's multiply it. Sounds very demonic. You can always click on the tweak button here and go into a little bit more detail of what's going on. Let's try some reverb with a square wave and we can mix the A and the B together. Let's try the preset modulations, super coarse delay. I do love the coarse effects you can get from this plugin. And we can always edit the pan here as well to keep it maybe a bit more center. Or not. Nice. I'm bringing the mix up and lower the output of both A and B. So off. And then we have a super thick sound. And the most famous of all of them, Little Alter Boy. It's particularly effective on vocals. Beautiful melody line. The format in particular is a lot of fun. And the robot effect is great for having a single note running through the whole thing. And we have a lovely harmony. And if you don't like how robotic it sounds, you can always just take that idea and re-record it in yourself. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite plugins. It's just so much fun. And let's just put that in the right key as well. I sang it a semitone too high. You can get more chorus effects from Little Microshift and Microshift. I find it really useful for thickening out a lead vocal. Super quick, super effective. Soundtoys also has amazing distortion and saturation plugins. Let's try Decapitator, throw Punish on, drive up, and let's mix it in here. And bring down the tone. Decapitator is definitely one of my go-to plugins. It adds such lovely crunch, and you can always mix it in where it's not too audible, but really makes a difference. For a similar effect, you can also try Devilock. That's some lovely crunch. And also radiator. Let's try the preset, little tube amp. If you don't have your own preamp, sometimes radiator can be really cool to just throw on and give that little bit of warmth. As always, it's those little changes that make a huge impact. The next plugin bundle I love to recommend is FabFilter. One of my go-tos is the Pro Q3. The biggest game changer for me with this is you can click and drag to draw on a bell curve. And if we hit the headphones, we only hear that frequency. <laughs> ha!
it's super useful for picking out problematic frequencies. I use it all the time. FabFilter Saturn is another one of my favorite saturation plugins. It has lots of amazing presets, but even better still, you can saturate different frequencies by different amounts. I find this really useful on instruments that have a percussive high end and a melodic low end so that you can separate them and saturate them differently. Like an acoustic guitar, where you might want to bring out the plucking sound, but not saturate the low boomy frequencies. FabFilter's Timeless is one of my go-to delays. This one really has an infinite amount of presets. Let's throw that on the vocal. You can see that the constant theme with these FabFilter plugins is that there's so many parameters that you can edit. They can be a little bit overwhelming because of that, but once you get to know it inside out, it's super powerful and will help you get the exact sound that you're hearing in your head. Let's jump to Waves next. You can see all the plugins I got from the Gold bundle, but I would recommend the Renaissance bundle as it's cheaper and has all of my favorites in it. Let's start with Orc Comp. Now I'm not gonna mix anything, but you can see how beautiful it is. I love that the threshold and the ratio parameters are vertical and you can see the attenuation there in the middle. And of course the attack and release there at the top. I'm not a mixing engineer, so I'm not going to go into mad detail, but I love how simple the Orc Comp keeps compression and visually I find it very intuitive. It's definitely my go-to. And with Orverb, the same idea applies. You have a visual EQ up here. You can see it really clearly here if I move the pre-delay and move the time to be longer and we can edit the size as well. <laughs> I just love how it looks. Although do note, mix with your ears and not your eyes. That's very important. We're here for the audio, not the visual. Let's try a different reverb. Church, we love church. Take me to church. Let's try a reverse reverb. Let's shorten that time a bit. It's acting nearly like a delay. Duplicate our drums, get rid of the kicks and the hi-hats so we only have our snares and claps and throw on our gated reverb. And changing the pre-delay parameter is super important here. For how long after we hit the snare do we hear the reverb? And we definitely don't want the lows in the reverb. This is our first bundle where it's a little less creative and more just straight up mixing. So it's a little less fun to play with, but it's super useful. I wouldn't recommend it to be your first bundle, but if you already have a few bundles that help with your creativity, the Renaissance bundle could be worth a go. Let's jump to another bundle that encourages creativity. Baby Audio. Crystalline has to be one of my favorites. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> Let's throw some reverb on it. And reverse. And freeze again. I love messing around with Crystalline. Lots of great presets and lots of parameters that are really fun to mess around with. Let's try it on the synth. And we can always change the mix. Baby Audio's tape is super quick as well. You've got drive, output, a mix between them so we can mess around with the warping and also how much distortion we want. And it's always great to mix it in either on the track or have it on a separate bus. Super quick, super effective. I'm forever using Parallel Aggressor as well. It adds a lovely bit of saturation and has lots of parameters here at the bottom that do exactly what they say on the tin. And let's try it on our drums as well. And it's no surprise, it comes with a long list of presets. 808 Snare Splice. When you need to make certain transients hit a little bit harder, Parallel Aggressor is my go-to. So much fun. We also have Baby Comeback for getting some really creative delays. And it's always interesting moving to the same rhythm, turning on the ping pong delay, and then mixing it in to giving it a bit more stereo width. Simple and effective. The Baby Audio plugins definitely encourage creativity, which I think is the most important thing for a producer to look for. So definitely worth a look. I think it would be amazing if you could share your favorite bundle and what you love about it down in the comments below. That way we can see the ones that keep popping up and that are definitely worth a look. And if you'd like to learn more about Logic Pro, you can learn about my 15 favorite tips from this video right here. So go on, click it. I'd be rude not to. Hope you keep them well. Cheers.